Hello and welcome. We are now a couple of days away from the carrier rework going live. So I decided to um, head over to PTS and uh, try it out. I've been playing both the IGN and the US carriers, um, tier 4, 6 and 8 so far. And uh, at this point here, I think this was maybe the fifth game I played. Um, and uh, my best damage game for tier 4. Unfortunately, the replays don't show um, the aim markers. Um, so I can't really show um, how the aim is. Um, so I'll have to live without that. So what I've been trying to uh, do apart from just testing different stuff is uh, actually try to uh, do some useful uh, things in the carrier. Uh, and one of the things was that I usually started with uh, the rocket planes uh, to do some damage to the DDs early on, since they were um, more often the first one um, to be separated from the others, so less AA. Um, should also be noted that um, it's only me and the enemy carrier that are actual players, the rest are bots. So any results would obviously be affected by uh, that. Like I said, I haven't played that many games in tier 4 or uh, at all, but um, the conclusion for this tier at least is that it is quite boring actually. Uh, earlier you didn't have torpedo bombers uh, in tier 4, that was added uh, I think for this test run. And my feeling is that that definitely improves things, but uh, every attack run you have uh, one plane that actually attacks. Um, and attacking a bot or uh, maybe a big battleship is uh, doable, but uh, I think that when there will be actual players uh, trying to hit torpedoes, uh, a single one will be quite uh, tricky. Uh, seeing as you only have three planes as well, they tend to um, get shot down quite a lot. Um, rocket planes are obviously the easiest one to hit. It takes some getting used to the, the time it takes for them to actually reach the target and if you shoot at the fast destroyer you might actually have to aim a bit in front. Uh, but it's still significantly easier than uh, torpedoes. Uh, damage is uh, quite pitiful even if you actually hit something. And it doesn't really matter if you use the torpedoes, the rockets, or the bombs. The fire and uh, flooding chance is uh, low enough that uh, you'll be lucky if you will get uh, one in a full attack run at this tier. So the idea that you would go in, strike a uh, ship, wait for it to repair, and then uh, go back. Um, it's not really feasible 
uh, at this level. Later on when you have uh, more runs per uh, squadron, uh, it's more doable, but uh, here uh, you can basically hope that uh, you get a fire and either they don't repair it or they uh, can't because they repaired before. As you can see, uh, I've been mainly using the torpedo and uh, rockets. Um, I will use bombs later on, but basically the bombs are the hardest one to actually hit. Um, even a battleship can quite easily turn around and make uh, it very difficult to get a good uh, lineup. The bombs do have a bit better fire chance, uh, at least that's my feeling, I don't remember the actual numbers. But it's still uh, not uh, particularly good. At uh, this tier you don't uh, have the option to um, send out uh, fighter planes um, so you have no way of interacting with uh, enemy planes at all obviously the carrier itself will launch planes when uh, the enemy carrier is trying to strike you um, but you have no control over that. Uh, and that's actually something that I find quite annoying. You have no control over carrier at all. Um, yes, you can go to the minimap and order it to uh, go here and there. Um, but there's no, no way to um, take direct control of it. If you, uh, unless you sacrifice your planes. You can't uh, either control when to repair fires or floodings uh, or when to send out planes. Um, so I feel like they have been trying to do some uh, potato proof uh, ship class here. And real I would say is not particularly enjoyable. One of the things that um, you see me fail here, uh, and uh, something you have to spend some time learning, is the timing. Um, each plane type has a different uh, attack run, uh, and uh, they're also slightly different between the different uh, tiers and uh, navies. Um, so to do it well, uh, requires a bit of uh, learning curve. Airborne. Now since uh, on PTS it's only bots basically, um, it is, um, or the results of the game is very reliant on what the bots are doing and uh, basically one team will have uh, fairly good bots and the other team will have really crap bots. Uh, and in this particular game I get uh, fairly good ones. Um, so even though the enemy carrier performs way better than I do here, um, I will still win the game because uh, my bots are doing uh, well enough to counteract that. Um, I don't know if the other player has played more than I have or if it's just uh, more natural than I am. 
but um, it's uh, taken me some games to get a basic uh, feel for it. Um, might have played something like 15 in total, uh, so I'm still very much uh, trying things out. We can also see that my damage so far is uh, not at all impressive. Um, You can also see that out of four torpedoes I only managed to get one flooding uh, and three fires from uh, 42 rockets. Taking fire. Now obviously if you are better at aiming with the torpedoes you can uh, hit the areas where it's more likely to flood but uh, with just uh, one torpedo it is... Um, Perhaps more important to get a confirmed hit rather than a uh, risk missing and hitting an uh, uh, area for a flooding. We're under there I was using the bombs and uh, I managed to get some uh, hits. But again, the damage is quite bad, but uh, I did manage to. Uh, set fires on both runs. Uh, and in this particular case the battleship didn't really turn that much so I was able to actually hit him. But uh, it is significantly harder to uh, hit ships with uh, the bombers. And uh, it's definitely possible at this year to just uh, turn and uh, force the carrier to spend a lot of time in uh, your AA and if you have help you will probably shred most of the planes because they are quite weak. Now, like I said before, uh, I have no way of uh, actually help my uh, ships, protect them from uh, the enemy planes. Um, a couple of times I saw carriers that uh, sailed with their ships, um, because the carrier AA, as we will see a bit later, is uh, really strong. Um, so they protected the ships by being within a range of them. Uh, on PTS that might work, but uh, on the live server I would assume that uh, you will get wrecked pretty fast by the surface ships. The enemy team is getting quite low on uh, ships now, so as soon as the Miyogi uh, goes down, I will start trying to do damage on the carrier. Um, and like I said, the AA itself is strong, uh, but when you attack a CV, it also launches fighter planes, and they will absolutely wreck you. There might be ways to um, avoid uh, parts of the strike uh, or minimize the damage. Uh, I haven't fully figured that out yet, so uh, most of the time uh, I lose most of our planes. Uh, sometimes I manage to avoid long enough to maybe attempt a second strike, but. Uh, more often than not, uh, you will at most get uh, one uh, strike before uh, your plane is, uh, or all the planes are lost. Airborne. 
I understand uh, what they're trying to accomplish, but the results is just stupid, really. Um, Because when you come to this situation, uh, especially at uh, tier 4, you are pretty much um, forced to uh, get maybe one attack run, hope you get some damage and then uh, send out your next squadron because your planes will be shot down. Um, of course for bombers and rockets you only have two runs anyway. Um, but even for torpedo bombers, you, you get maybe one. Um, and here you see I managed to line it up quite well. But the fighters will seemingly always be able to hit you uh, or do very large damage. And the carrier can finish you off. Uh, so it illustrates that quite well there. Airborne. Especially, I feel like the bombers, um, you have to line it up very well um, and uh, Compared to even the torpedo bombers, you have less ability to correct uh, the way you approach the, the ship you're shooting at. Rockets, um, you can get uh, a good first strike, but then you only have uh, one strike left, and when there are fighter planes. It is tricky. Um, and what I found is that, as you see here, they are very good at shooting down your planes. You have a bit of a better chance later on in the higher tiers, but even then, uh, attacking carriers is something that Wargaming has tried to make uh, non desirable, I would say. Overall, um, I'm not overly impressed with the carriers at this tier, um, or in fact at all. I understand the definitely the need to change something, but I don't think that this is the way to go. Um, and without being uh, the best well-read in uh, naval history, um, when the carriers did come along uh, for real, it basically removed the use of battleships and uh, it is strange to have uh, a class in the game um, that more or less completely neutralizes another one. Um, and I think that it might actually be for the best to remove them completely. I don't think it works, to be honest. And I definitely do not approve of Wargaming launching um, carriers now and basically do live server tests. Um, I would prefer to do something similar to the submarines that they have a a uh, specific uh, mission or maybe something like uh, arms race that you go in and select uh, specifically when you want to play the carriers because uh, I don't think it would be particularly enjoyable once this goes live. I don't think so at all. And playing at tier 4, like I said in the beginning, it is boring. Um, 
this game is about to end. Uh, the enemy carrier did much better than I did, but uh, in the end we still win. And I do about 90k damage. Um, I will continue to put out videos uh, on the rest. Um, but uh, here, uh, so far, I would say that um, I'm not happy with this at all. And uh, I'm not looking forward to uh, the new update whatsoever. But we'll see how it goes.